following Peter Rush. Peter Rush is the um, from the Office of Prime Minister and Cabinet. He's the Executive Assistant Secretary um, to the Prime Minister and Cabinet. And he refuses my freedom of information. I'm not going to ask him about it. No two. Six two seven one six two seven one five nine oh nine. Five nine oh nine. There we go. Good afternoon. Can I speak to Peter Rush, please? May I ask who's calling? It's Richard. Uh, sorry, what was your last name? McLean. Okay. Just give me one second, I'll see if it's available for you. Good afternoon. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, Mr. Um, he's just coming to me in a meeting. Is that, uh, what was it regarding? I might be able to point you into someone else's direction. Um, now, I'd prefer to speak to Peter personally because it's a, it's an important issue of um, a conspiracy to pervert the course of justice. And the scapegoat is me personally. And Peter emailed me personally to reject my public interest disclosure, and he acknowledges that um, Steve Isonides, my former partner and I, were in a relationship together for five years, but he won't acknowledge um, that um, that person owes me a fair, legal and equitable settlement. And to that, um, Peter is um, protecting Steve. And um, Steve used to work for um, ASIO, you see. So um, there's powerful people who are um, underpinning my distress and my vagrancy. And I, I needed it to be urgently addressed because um, I'm literally in danger of physical attack. I'm squatting, I'm oppressed, I'm framed for crimes I've not committed, and I'm set up to fail epically. And um, I think they're gonna have a plan to incarcerate me a ward of the state, or they're going to at least render me past vagrancy and into homelessness. Now I have a mental illness, I have cancer, which I'm not getting treatment for. I likely have an ABI and I need a psychologist, a psychiatrist and a neurologist. Um, I, 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 I wish to say that Peter needs to call me back because I have no human rights or worth in this society. I am a victim of powerful people who have um, framed me and I'm um, intelligently designed to be in poverty and a vagrant, vagrant. and I'm, I haven't got any prosperity. My job's been destroyed. My business has been maimed. My identity and my person is desecrated along with my business and my website. And this systemic oppression has lasted for so long over the years that I actually tried to commit suicide. And the causation of that was um, systemic government abuse. Now, um, to that, I, uh, I, it was fatal. The, the Freedom of Information says that attempt was fatal. Um, now, I've survived that, but there's been no recourse. That's because I'm the victim of a systemic oppression and persecution and a vilification that's so vile, um, it's destroyed me and um, literally killed me, and then, and then the government's covered it up. So um, framed by all of that and just that quick thing of saying it, um, I've, um, I, I urgently need to speak to Peter because... He says in his letter to me that um, I'm not a, um, uh, what do you say? I, I'm, I'm not a public official and, now, and I can't make a product interest disclosure. Now I emailed him back on the 20th of August, it's now the 22nd, and 
I've alerted him to an email I sent to every single parliamentarian and they're all in on it. Now, um, I wanted to say too that um, I am a um, public um, official because I actually have a um, uh, Australian Government Department of Social Services um, record and um, that it says there, and I emailed it to him, the evidence that it says on the um, Department of Social Services, view employee details. So f for one of a better um, excuse, I'm an employee and a public official of the Australian government. Now, what he's saying is incorrect and it's an emergency because um, I have uh, no food, I have no rights, and, and further to that, my um, there's voices in my room, and I say voices when I really mean speakers from police who are calling me a rapist and um, they're, they're framing me with all my family and friends I am the, a scapegoat and a victim, and Peter is elongating that suffering by not um, acknowledging me. Um, I will pass all that along. Um, what is your best contact number? 0409. 0409. 847. 0746. 0746. Can you. Let me, uh, uh, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Pardon me? Pardon me? I will get back to you as soon as possible. Are you or Peter? Uh, one of us will. Oh, are you able to get back to me? Are you are you were a spokesperson for Peter? No, no. Oh, you said you might get back to me. What do you mean? I'll, I'll get someone to get in touch with you. Oh, okay. Well, how many people are there at the um, Office of Prime Minister? And, and what's Peter's role? I'm sorry. I, I don't think I'm the best person to talk to, so I'll just pass along your message. Okay, am Thank I... You am... Thank you. Fuck. Um, that's it. I, I can't do anything. I'm framed. They're in my room. They're in my gears. And I'm being universally exploited, demonized and victimized to the point of death. And then uh, that death covered up in an extraordinary um, display of systemic oppression and lack of human rights and the, the absolute... Um, uh, failure of, of, of the government and, and my acknowledgement as a human being.